What we'll cover here from the study guide, uh, explain how to use uh, Snowflake Cortex LLM functions. In particular, they want us to look at the parse document function, translate function, classify text function, and the complete function. Well, guys, uh, I told you how, how they uh, just recently uh, moved from uh, Snowflake uh, Data Cloud to Snowflake AI Data Cloud, artificial intelligence, with a lot of uh, AI and ML machine learning added lately. And uh, I can tell you, they will continue for years on this path because they added uh, heavy artillery here. <laughs> I can tell you that if you didn't know until now about Snowflake Cortex, yeah, this is where uh, they put most of the artificial intelligence features. Okay, most but not all, you know. And uh, in particular, this LLM large uh, language model functions uh, are very popular because they are very simple to use. Okay. I don't want to scare you here. These functions are actually very easy to use. Yeah, this, this would be an easy topic, okay? But we'll have to go through uh, these LLM functions. There are more than just four. In particular, we'll look at this one, and you'll see, for instance, translate is trivial. Yeah, parse documents. This is to parse uh, unstructured data, like PDFs, okay? And you'll see the double row there. Classify text uh, that's also easy to understand, yeah, is to extract, uh, to, to see if your text fits uh, in uh, one of uh, several categories. And the complete function, this is very similar to the one, the completion functions that you have in um, uh, for uh, GPT models, yeah, for chat GPT in OpenAI's chat GPT, okay? But this could be tricky. You'll have to understand it properly because this is a most uh, general function, LLM function here, and uh, you, you can build any kind of prompt to get an answer. And uh, that's the only function taking a model as argument because they store a lot of LLM models. Look, guys, uh, I attach to the current lecture the study guide itself, okay? <laughs> study guide, you can see here, I renamed it, uh, study guide, uh, that PDF, and uh, I already uploaded it uh, in the existing test public uh, stage uh, here. So, uh, why is this? Because uh, switch now uh, to, um, uh, to a new SQL worksheet and paste the SQL files that you have attached to this lecture. And uh, look what we'll do, okay? Look what we'll do. What's this about? Okay, in uh, Snowflake Cortex, okay, in the Snowflake Cortex scheme, you have several functions that uh, you must learn for this specific exam. Okay, they are very simple. Okay, but they are using uh, large language models, LLM behind, yeah, with machine learning, artificial intelligence. Okay, but look uh, how simple it is uh, to use them because you don't know. You don't need to know how they work, what's inside, and so on. Yeah, you need uh, just to learn and to know how to call them. We uploaded uh, the study guide the PDF PDF uh, file, which is unstructured data. Okay, remember uh, in the test public stage. And uh, look, guys, that's the way it works uh, with parse document. First, let's call it this way. Okay, I want to parse this document and uh, let's see what uh, what we get. Okay, and uh, okay, this will return basically one single cell. Okay, with uh, the text, the text uh, extracted and as uh, unstructured data. You see, as a JSON, uh, JSON content. Uh, yeah, have a look at this one. Okay, and uh, yeah, metadata page count uh, ten. Okay, if you call it uh, the other way around, uh, you see we can pass a mod here. Okay, uh, the mod uh, option here could be OCR or uh, layout. Okay, let's call it with layout, and uh, I'll tell you about. By default, this is OCR. So when it's OCR, the, the whole text uh, is extracted uh, from from the document uh, with layout. It will look for uh, tables and so on and extract. Uh, data from those tables and so on. If you see here, there are some other formatting characters that uh, suggest that, uh, yes, we extract this as a table. We'll not go farther. Yeah, we'll not try to render this uh, properly and so on. It's not worth it, not for this exam. Uh, let's continue with our demo. Okay. What I'll do here, I will establish a session variable 
as a text, okay, multi-line text. This is a way I can do it. And this is a customer review here. I've been a customer for less than a year, a bank customer, okay? Someone uh, is satisfied. And uh, yeah, let, let's just create this one because basically we'll use most of the, if not all of the next uh, Cortex functions uh, on this specific review, okay? You see here, classified text, yep. We pass the review, you see, with a dollar uh, prefix here, and uh, then we'll pass an array of uh, possible categories. And uh, what classified text does, uh, we'll uh, pick up, yeah, we'll pick up one of the categories that uh, uh, I pass here, yeah, what's the closest. So, uh, Basically, yeah, this will tell me if uh, my text uh, fits in in uh, one of these categories and uh, which one is this. Yeah, you see, review in this case. But uh, I can tell you it's not always reliable because I run this before and uh, this gave me sentiment. <laughs> it is what it is. Yes, it's uh, relativity of um, uh, machine learning LLMs. They are not always uh, reliable. Not yet. Yeah. Anyway. And uh, let's move to the complete function. And this is the biggest function so far. You can pass a, a, a specific model here. You see Mistral Large. I pass uh, the largest model. And uh, then I will say, uh, is this bank uh, customer canceling his service? And uh, yeah, I will follow. I will concatenate with the review. Okay, you see that's a text concatenation operator here. So basically what is complete doing you provide a prompt and you get an answer in natural language okay this is a, and the, it's very generic yeah? you can see it here okay the customer is expressing blah 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 okay it's very generic and uh, you can figure out that most of the other functions are uh, specializations of this complete function and uh, this was an easy form for complete yeah but uh, you can pass you can pass an array of objects like this, a role with role and content. Why is this? Because sometimes uh, you need the history of the conversation. You see, in this case, you are a helpful assistant, uh, answer the following question only with uh, yes or no, okay? So uh, you may have a chat, yeah, let's say with someone, and then you save this, uh, this first uh, entry there, and then you follow up with something else, okay? But uh, they will remember that you asked uh, to answer uh, with a yes or no. Well, it will not always answer, obey this one, <laughs> because I tell you, uh, answer with a yes or no and nothing else. But uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, no, uh, this time it was good. It depends on the quality of the prompt. Uh, the, the answer depends on, on the quality of the prompt. Uh, that's why... Yeah, you have prompt engineering, uh, which uh, developed hardly in the past uh, few years. And uh, let's move to another function, which is required. Yeah, is required for this uh, this exam translate. But this is this is very easy. You pass uh, the text, the same review, and you say, yeah, I want uh, translation from English in French. Okay, and. Uh, yeah, it can detect also automatically what the source uh, language, and you have a set of uh, specific uh, languages there. Okay, je suis client depuis moins d'un an, etc., etc. Et et <laughs> so, yes, yeah, this works, and uh, yeah, this may work the other way, and so on. Uh, extract answer. Okay, extract answer from the review. Why is this customer not paying his bills? Eh? That's an interesting function. What it does, you ask a question. Okay whatever question it is and uh, if they may locate if this function can locate can locate in the review a specific fragment of text it will return it yeah that can be uh, as an answer in this case look banking card locks three times for fraud this specific text exists yeah the, uh, the way it is in the review okay and uh, sentiment. Let's have a look at the sentiment. Very trivial. Okay, this will return a value between minus one and one. It depends on the mood. And you see here, the mood is rather negative, uh, zero point two. Okay, uh, yeah, slightly negative in this case. Uh, yeah, it's been detected as such. And uh, finally, finally, let's have a look at summarize. As you may expect, yeah, this will try to summarize the text. Yeah, in this case, this will give you an alternative because the text was pretty short. But if you give a page of text, yeah, this will give you a paragraph or so. And uh, this is it, guys. Yeah, this is it. You don't have to remember too much about uh, this specific, uh, this specific uh, chapter.
uh, I'll not uh, go uh, over in detail over uh, all, all these signatures because I already executed these functions before, but I gave you this slide uh, just to use it eventually as a cheat sheet uh, before the exam. Yeah, so we had parsed document, you see here. Important to remember, uh, this works in either OCR or layout mode, okay, extracting text. Uh, from a stage PDF, uh, DOCX, uh, uh, PPTX documents, yeah, classified text, okay? Remember, this will pick up one category from uh, what you pass there, okay? And this works on text complete. Complete takes a model, okay? It takes a model. Just like, look at the bottom, yeah? At the bottom, ember text, it will take a model as first argument. And uh, you can pass either a prompt or the history there, remember? There are two overloads there, and uh, yeah, you may have different options, okay? Uh, translate, very trivial. Uh, extract answer, also trivial, but remember what is return is something from inside. Uh, actually, these last four functions are not specifically required, but it's good to know them. Yeah, sentiment, summarize, and uh, embed text. Yeah, we don't talk about this one. This will return vector embeddings. 